Hi guys. Okay, so um, today uh, um, I'm making my video and it's actually, it's Tuesday, February 25th and we are in week 29. So yesterday, or yeah, yesterday I weighed out, um, you know, I'm doing my, my weigh-ins for Mondays now. So um, anyway, so last Monday I was 181. And uh, yesterday I was 177.2. Um, I think that takes me to losing 3.8 pounds. Is that right? Sounds right. Anyway, so that's a good loss. That's a really big loss. And um, actually, to tell you the truth, when I woke up this morning, I'm 176.4 and uh, I've been running around cleaning and stuff. So actually is 176.2 but I only count what I weigh on Mondays um, but what I'm doing is I'm just eating all the time I've actually up to my calories you know I've been only doing 1200 and then I get my exercise in oh I'm gonna fix the camera but oh well um, you know I get my exercise in and um, but I hurt my heel like it totally hurts bad I don't know. I guess it was from running, and it was so. This sucks because I was getting so excited about getting my form up, and and you know I was being able to run a lot longer and faster, and feeling good about it, like feeling great. And then, but I don't have running shoes, which I've mentioned before. And um, there you go. I injured myself. Um, it's actually feeling a little bit better, but I've been babying it. But lucky for me, you know I'm in Florida, so. Uh, it's been staying around the 80s or high 70s, and um, uh, um, and so the water temperature has been staying consistently around 74, sometimes 76, but it's slowly going up. But I actually started swimming in it. I'm about to go do my laps now. Um, I just been running around cleaning. I'm like sweating. That's how much cleaning I had to do. Like I have three cats, so I have to always vacuum and dust and you know because they're messy. But um, anyway, so what I did, I'm, I've got my metabolism going great. I um, uh, basically am kind of a calorie burning machine. I feel like it anyway. I eat all the time. I've set my fitness pal to having six meals a day. And I actually have upped my calories to 1,400. Every, every couple of days, like if I hadn't been as active, I, I drop it down to 1,200. And then I try to eat, go back to 1,400. Now that's net calories. That's not counting if I earn exercise calories because I make sure I eat those back as well. I've been drinking, I've been trying to aim for about eight of these a day. And this is 16 ounces. I've been really good. I at least get six of them in a day. And um, to tell you the truth, the more I drink the water is the better it tastes to me. Like I'm able to, I don't have to add crystal light. Um, the only other thing I drink is my coffee. I love coffee. I'm not giving coffee up. I'm not giving up the pop. I like a diet root beer every once in a while. I like truly like it. Um, but I try to make it like a treat. And I only get it, you know, every once in a while. But right now, I don't even have the time to drink root beer when I'm trying to get all this water in. So that's kind of how it goes. And my meals consist of anything I want to eat as long as I count the calories. Honestly. Now, truly, my wants have changed from before I started. Um, I'm not really into carbs. Like, you know, I'm not really into just eating straight bread um, or something like that. But if I want a tortilla, I will have it. But the thing is, I can have a big old taco salad and, and with some um, crushed tortilla shells. Um, I could have, I'd rather have that for my carbs and that way I'm having more volume. I'm all about like can how much can I eat that's gonna keep me get me full and keep me full longer. I have some things to show you, um, but you guys can find me on my fitness pal. It's um, capital F and capital A, and it's Finding Amy Seven uh, Seven, and that's that's the my fitness pal um, thing. And um, you know I'm just kind of doing the best I can to try to be active. I stay within my calories. I feel good, like um, my total is at 57 now, 
well, as of yesterday, I was 57. And um, I, I feel great. Like, uh, all I do is I make sure I'm eating. I eat every three hours. Now I, now, I have noticed that the more I drink the water is the more it seems like um, my body gets hungry faster. So, yes, I am counting down till it gets to be like, oh, when's 10 a.m. happening so I can have my snack? And when is noon happening so I can have my lunch? Like, seriously, I'm looking forward to eating constantly. But um, I know that when I do, I've got it planned, you know, and I'll have something like a black bean salad. Or um, I like these. Here's what I wanted to show you. Uh, these are just to go single serves. Cheese and peanut butter are my trigger foods, so whatever your trigger foods is, I suggest you get single serve packages. That way it keeps you accountable. Now, um, they are prepackaged, yes, and there's little, they're coming little, um, little bowl things. I actually got these at the Dollar Tree. Uh, so I just now ran out of the six, you know, I, I just now ran out of these, and, um, they're great, like, if I want to send them with my husband, you know, with pretzels or something, and I can have them with pretzels. Um, um, actually, a little mini bag of pretzels with some um, with some peanut butter is packed with lots of protein. It's packed with fat, too. <laughs> um, but it's, it's, not, it's good for you. Protein is excellent for you to keep you full longer. Protein and fiber is what I'm always aiming for, seriously. But if you look at my fitness diary, I don't care about those. I don't care about the macros because I'm not short or over on anything. So I'm really only focused on calories. That's all I care about. Yes, it's very good to think about your macronutrients like carbohydrates, protein, fat, but I think it's too many numbers floating around. All you need to worry about is calories mainly and then hope to get limited carbs and you want your 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 simple you know you know the difference between simple and complex carbs and you want your veggies and fruits and stuff like that and you know they have your carbs not breads and processed crap you know because it really is crap because your stomach is going to be rumbling later and be like hey can you feed me some real food this time because that's basically what happens anyway so these single serve things are um packed with protein 250 calories it's a lot but since I love peanut butter so much, I'll like eat it with just a spoon only and, and really enjoy it and really be happy I have. Um, okay, this isn't my product. Um, so anyways, this is not a product I actually picked out, but it is delicious. So my husband, he always gets goodies, right? And most of the time, it's not something, it's nothing that, um, there's not one thing I know that I can't have. There's nothing out there that I can't have. Um, it's, do I, can I afford it? I like to treat my calories like money and the budget. And is it in the budget? Can we afford it? Um, how are you going to be able to eat that certain thing and then be able to eat later and not be hungry? You know, so those are things that go through my head. Not, oh, I wish I could have it. Because then if you deprive yourself like that, then you're going to find ways and to justify why you are having them because you will have them regardless. So anyway, he brings things into the house and most of the time I'm all like, oh, he's snackies. I won't touch him because I got my own. But the other day, um, we're kind of low on different choices. And I didn't want to eat my last um, Greek yogurt because it was a key lime. And then, although I do like lime, it's not one of those like, mm, um, like a comfort food type of yogurt that's more like oh this is refreshing and good you know <laughs> um there's a difference to me anyway so uh i look in the fridge and i'm like oh ooh, look what he got and they look really delicious when they're packaged um let's see we can see it it's because i kind of ripped it it's yo play parfaits or i'm sorry yo crunch apple pie parfait and it's made with oh ha he doesn't even know he picked this i didn't even read the package uh, it's made with fat-free yogurt, loaded with real apples, delicious Cine crunch topping. It's only 110 calories per cup. That was the main thing I was looking at. Okay, 110 calories, and I can have that delicious, crunchy, um, granola. Well, it looks delicious. Let me try it. Oh, my God, I tried it. It's like, um, it's like eating a piece of apple pie that has Cool Whip on it. 
That is awesome. And it was small, but since the tear it is filling, um, it doesn't have any fiber and it only has uh, three grams of protein with the topping. But still, it was um, it was really delicious. So yeah, I like it. So and I wonder what else they make. Someone said something about a chocolate cream, or maybe they were just hoping to make a chocolate cream pie, because that would be awesome. This was so good. Anyway, I was really happy about it. So uh, looks like we'll be buying more of these. Um, now I've been trying. Crap! I threw the package away. I've been trying all these different protein bars, and I talked about it before. Well, I decided to try three more. Um, I think I tried one. It was called a Zone Fitness. Uh, the other one I think was called a T. Hmm, it had an A in it. And this is the last one. Oh, God, it's probably gross. Who knows? Um, the other two are disgusting, and they're really expensive. And then I tried other ones at the store. Um, it was different brands. I don't know what they are. Not one... Not one has been tasty. Yes, it's filling. Um, yes, it's sure it's packed with propane. This one says it's 20 grams of protein. I don't even know how much fiber. The last one's 14 grams of protein. I'm like, oh, awesome, but it was only had three grams of fiber. Um, the thing is, is there to pack these things with protein, they have to pack them with sugars. This I know, but I mean, I'm really, really concerned with just calories. Not only 200 or something calories, but. They're disgusting, dude. I don't know. I hope this one isn't nasty, but it probably is, and I'll try it anyway. But I, I'm i hoping I showed you guys what I really think is the best out of all these ones I've tried is Kellogg's um, protein bars uh, with fiber and antioxidants, something like that, and I think it's called chocolate peanut butter or chocolate peanut butter nut, something to that sort. What you're looking for is it's a Kellogg's brand, and it says protein bar on it. it says fiber and antioxidants and then it says 10 grams fiber okay that I'm sure of now I think it's called like on the line a chocolate peanut butter nut or something anyways those things are the best I've tried they taste like candy bars and I'll tell you how I know that I'm right it's not just my taste my husband likes them too and it's kinda like if Mikey don't like it it's not good <laughs> or yeah, because he's the picky one, right? Right? Back in the day? Okay, well, that's my husband. He's not picky, but he doesn't want anything that's going to say he's on a diet or being deprived. And he's like, don't be giving me that low-fat shit, you know? He wants some real stuff. So if he likes it, that's how I prove that it's good. All right? So, <laughs> and then the same thing when my kids were taking things, you know, and eating the heck out of them. Um, that's how you know it's good, okay? Anyway, um... So that's pretty much what's it. I'm getting more active. Uh, have a great week. Uh, I've just been focusing on food and being more active and eating good stuff. And um, uh, and hoping my heel feels better. So I'll see you guys next week.